Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Simple Scan, a program used to scan pictures, images, documents from what you have in your hand so that you can make them digital to put on your computer. Now, if you've got an HP printer, you can print, click the HP uh, icon in your toolbar. You can go to HP Device Manager, but as you can see, see I've got a little caution because I don't have an HP printer so I can't go into the HP printer settings I have a Canon printer another way you can get to the program is to go to graphics scroll down where it says simple scan click onto it either way and it brings up your simple scan software go ahead and put your image into your printer uh, you can scan two ways you can do a single page by opening the lid of your uh, scanner scanning them one at a time or if you've got a feeder on top and mine doesn't but I used to have one that was an HP and that's why I have the bubble up there uh, I could put them in the feeder and it would pull them in one at a time so I put mine into the a single page I can click the single page or I can click the scan button since mine's already in there I'm gonna click the scan button it should communicate to your scanner my scanner is currently asleep it's now waking my scanner up and it's now starting to scan so it's a very quick process you know it, it to start with it woke my scanner up and then as you can see it's going through the process of scanning now in this case it scanned the entire top of my scanner you've got the ability to crop your picture you can click onto the crop and as you can see I've got a the last time I cropped was something small you can put the crop and you can drag it to the size of your picture now I'm gonna crop mine a little large so when I save it, I can show you another way to crop it if you've make a, if you've made a mistake, so that you don't have to rescan it. So I'm going to crop it a little large on both sides. Like I said, I'm going to show you another way to to crop it, just in case you accidentally saved it and left all the white borders around it. Now you're ready to save it. You go to the save button. It will come up, and I've created myself a folder, scan files. Some of you may already have it picture, or you can change it to whatever folder. You can click the picture folder or you can create yourself a new folder within your pictures as such as I did which is scan files now I'm gonna rename this just as test test so I'm gonna call it scan test file alright now I'm not gonna save it as a PDF a PDF is a portable file document I'm gonna save it as a JPEG which is a common image that's used on the internet to change it, I can change from PDF to JPEG, I can change it to PNG, but I'm going to change it to JPEG, which is a little bit more compressed to save space. Select the JPEG. Now since I've typed the name, got my folder selected, I can now hit the save button. It's now saved. I can now close the Simple Scan program down. I now can go into my file manager. I can go to my picture folder. I go to my scan files and as you can see I've already scanned it once but that's where I've already cropped it. I'll delete this one. I'll say remove it to trash. And as you can see when I double click this one my image viewer I can maximize it to see it. My image viewer if I had more than one picture and I shouldn't have deleted it I could have went to previous picture next and I could keep going on but my image viewer is just an image viewer. It really doesn't have much editing features. So I've installed another little program and if you don't have it, I can later show you how through my web page. But in the case, if you right click and hit open with, all the image viewers or image editors will pop up in a menu. A little simple one that can also be substituted as an image viewer is the G Thumb image viewer. If you click on that one, you then have a just a, like a viewer like you had while ago. But if you click the little paintbrush, that's your editor. So this little program here is pretty powerful. You've got little editing features on the side where you can rotate it, you can change the colors, you can do some special effects, and if you have pictures on someone with a red eye, you can take out the red eye by selecting around their eyeballs and removing the red eye. In, the, in this case, I will be cropping it, or you could resize an image, but in this case I'm going to crop the image. So I click the crop button, as you can see some squares comes on the screen. I'm going to go on the corner which is cropped correctly. I'm going to then drag it to the end. 
I don't want any white, so I just want to get just the picture. If I leave any a little on the side, it'll be okay. When I crop my image the way I want, I click the accept button, and as you can see, it looks pretty neat. I can now go out of the editing feature. Actually, I'm going to save my progress. Save as allows you to rename it so that you can keep your original scan picture and you can save this one as a different name. If you want to override it, you just hit the save button. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit save and it's overridden the original file. So I'm going to close my G thumb viewer and now I'm going to go ahead and double click it, which is going to bring up the default viewer. And as you can see, if I maximize it, I've now cropped out. I could have probably cropped a little more but as you can see it now has a nice cropped image so that is how you uh, scan a picture or a document and save it to your computer and the little G thumb is a viewer slash editor there's other editors that are much more powerful this like I said just a, a viewer and viewer alone like if I go to my pictures and I'll go to where I've got some screenshots if I want to go it, and it, this is the time where I had slow internet connections when I was with Windstream but you can see I, it's just a viewer that's all it is alright I think that's going to end this video hopefully you'll see how fast the, a scanner can scan how neat it will scan so if you've got problems with your scanner if it's going slower then we'll figure out what the problem is so hopefully this will give you an idea on how to hook a scanner and use a scanner to your Linux or your Ubuntu